Y'all know me and Target go together real bad, okay? We go together real bad. <laughs> Good evening, you guys. So this is going to be a random video. So I know you guys have heard me say multiple times in other vlogs this week that I am traveling. <laughs> I noticed that I said that a lot. But anyway, so I am here today just to kind of give you guys a rundown on what I take with me on a business trip or how I pack for a business trip. I am going to attempt to use my actual carry-on luggage uh not the ones that appear to be carry-ons but the actual carry-ons because y'all know airlines have decreased the size of carry-ons um maybe like over the last three or four years actually so i am going to attempt to take one carry-on luggage bag one bag with my laptop and, and all of my stuff for work as well as like my content creating stuff i don't know how well this is gonna work so we will see how this is gonna work so i have a list here that i emailed myself which is just basically you know telling me like the days and what i'm gonna need in terms of like outfits or whatever so um i'm leaving in the morning today today is friday or it might be Saturday already but my flight is in the morning and I land early in the morning uh, so I have basically all day Saturday all day Sunday to kind of like hang out and explore LA so that is what I am going to be doing so I need to make sure that I have like whatever outfit that I'm gonna wear on the flight it has to be something that I'm ready to like get off the flight and just get to it so I'm going to a concert on Sunday, so I need to make sure I have pack an outfit for that. And then I'm just going to pack like some additional stuff uh, for those two days just in case. I'll, I'll pack like uh, a lounge bar type of outfit and I'll pack like a super comfy outfit. And I'm also going to make sure that I have something to wear to work every single day. Um, for each day there's some specific things uh, happening at work this week so i'm gonna have to make sure that i'm dressing appropriately um our office is super casual so there's like not too much thought that i need to put into it just make sure that i'm comfortable and you know that i'm giving what needs to be given so <laughs> I will go and gather all the things that I think I want to wear and then we'll see what we can fit in our carry-on and then, of course if we can't fit it all in the carry-on we'll just have to check a bag but that is not the goal the goal is to carry on oh and if you don't know I work in finance at a technology company and I have a team of people uh, I'm a leader um i have a team of people who manage uh supplier master uh projects um payments and just whatever else needs to be done around the area that we're responsible for so yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on what type of work i do so there's nothing specific that i need to pack for work other than like my work laptop um and basically a couple of tools a notebook and a couple of other little tools that i need for work so yeah it's gonna be all about what we're packing to wear what we're packing in terms of makeup skincare body care pajamas are we gonna work out are we not gonna work out are we gonna hang out tough or are we gonna you know just kind of be cozy and do fun stuff or whatever so i we'll see you guys in a second and we'll find out what we're gonna pack so stay tuned three hours later all right y'all it is currently like one o'clock or some crazy hour right now and i just wanted to give y'all an update i'm probably not gonna go into detail and just show y'all what i have here and then uh, when i get to my hotel in the morning i will unpack and show y'all how I back so basically I don't know why I'm whispering I'm the only person here but I'm tired uh, basically this is what I'm gonna wear 
tomorrow. It's just some FBF leggings. The shirt that I wore um, in a reel the other day. I think it was in my Shein haul. That bag because I'm going to land and go straight to hanging out. So I want to be comfortable. It's going to be pretty mild in LA. So I also have another shirt just in case it's too hot to put on with that. And then I have my golden goose packed for that. And then I have like five outfits for work. I got two dresses here. This is like a pair of black leggings and a uh, cute blouse. And then I have two pairs of jeans and a denim shirt and then a black blouse. And then this is like weekend clothes um you know i'm going to that concert so either one of these outfits can be concert one of them is like some leggings and shorts my erica badu t-shirt from the r&b fest and then like a that little black and white flannel and then this is the outfit that i got from target uh, the green sports bra and the shorts leggings and then i just got that mesh top on top of it um can either go to the concert or i can work out in it i'm tired y'all so sorry for the low energy and then here's my robe and my pajamas and then that pile is my underwear i always take a thousand pair of underwear with me like a panties thongs whatever and i got three pairs of socks and like four or five bras and then i'm getting ready to put in the packing cubes i'm taking this bag with me because of the concert and then this is going to be my like everyday um go to work bag and then i have like that bandana bag that i'm just gonna put the rest of my stuff in so i'm hoping that i can fit all of this stuff in this luggage here uh, I still need to gather up my toiletries so that I can pack it in there too. So we shall see when I make it to um, LA if I was able to fit everything. Fingers crossed. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. into my hotel room it's where well, i have been here for probably like an hour already uh but it has been a long travel day and i already like did some sightseeing not sightseeing we, my friends picked me up from the airport and we went to the um this tupac exhibit that they're showing in la right now it was really really good so if you're out here you need to go check it out it was really good uh i got some clips that i probably put in at the start of this video uh with like the travel montage or whatever but uh and thank you tanisha i appreciate you um 
spending the morning and the early afternoon with me until my room got ready. But I am here in the room and I wanted to do a quick room tour. I don't know what to expect yet because I haven't gone into everything yet. So I don't know what the restroom looks like. I have been in the like main room part, so I know what that looks like, but we're gonna see the rest of it together and then I'll let y'all know what happened to my luggage, okay? All right, let me turn you around. All right, so we are in the entryway right now. So this is at where the door is. And I'm assuming this is the restroom. It don't look like no restroom, but it is. This is the restroom. Um, and what I always look for in hotels is it clean and this one is very clean so <laughs> hey this one is very clean so uh i last time i was here i stayed at a hotel and i just i wasn't feeling it so i'm definitely happy with this room um and the other hotel is like directly across the street so that's like weird and the lighting in here is not that great it wasn't great in the other hotel either so yeah so that's the restroom and then we have a full length mirror for our outfits um it's kind of a snug fit but here is the closet there's extra blanket to save some slippers ironing board and the iron which i appreciate because my clothes always get uh wrinkled and then um the luggage little situation Oh my God, I can put the door back. Okay, I'm just let that sit there. <laughs> so um, you have the little thing you put your luggage on. So I'll be putting my luggage up there and unpacking. And then over here is, sorry for all the movement. Over here is the bed. And there's two nightstands, of course. I just need one or I can use two if I switch sides or whatever. And then there's this cute little sitting area over here. Um, that I probably won't use, you know, because I don't know how I feel about this, <laughs> this area, you know, I feel like this area, if anything is going to be dirty, it's going to be this, but you never know. You've seen those videos about, uh, how clean hotel rooms are. Um, there's some more lighting back there. So I'll turn that light on eventually because it's, it's pretty dark in here. Um. I already have my laptop out. I've already started trying to get myself situated. Uh, that's my work laptop. Then y'all obviously brought my camera with me. So I have my camera in my hand. Um, I have my camera in my hand so I won't be just vlogging on my phone. I will be vlogging on my phone though. Um, and then we have like a, a whole desk situation. I don't know if I recorded any of this from that last trip out here but it there wasn't even a desk or there was but it wasn't situated appropriately and then i have all my junk here the desk there's a desk lamp the tv is upgraded like everything in this room is i mean it's not upgraded but it's definitely an upgrade from the last time i was here so we have a tv we have like a Keurig down there. And then of course there's like drawers because I do unpack. Um, and I think this is a refrigerator, which I'm pleased about. And then they left some tea here. And some earplugs, is that tea? Yeah, chamomile tea and some earplugs. I hope it don't get that loud. And they got the uh, remote control in like a little plastic thing. And then we're just circling back. So that's basically it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to close these, this closet door, cause that's gonna scare me when I get up in the middle of the night to the restroom. So let me show y'all my luggage and talk to y'all about what happened. I wanna talk to y'all about what happened, but nothing dramatic happened other than the fact that I was able to pack all of my stuff that I needed, that I had laid out on the bed last night in my tiny carry-on but I needed to get something out of it this morning I think it was I don't know I don't remember but I need to get out but I needed to get something out of it this morning and it got snagged on like one of my packing cubes so I can unzip it and then I was like trying to force it unzipped and I had and and I just broke the zipper so I guess it was unsuccessful then getting all my stuff in that smaller bag because I would have gotten that bag here 
and it would have uh, been a hot mess and I would have had to buy another bag. So I ended up checking my bag and this is the bag that I was telling y'all before. Uh, this used to be the size of a carry-on bag, but now they won't let you carry anything this size. I say this is not carry-on size anymore. But let me show you guys. I say all of that to say, let me show you guys what I have in my bag because it's, it's still like a ton of room in it. Not that I'm gonna buy anything, but there's a ton of room in it if I wanted to like go shopping or something to bring stuff back. So let me show you how I packed. All right, yeah, we're gonna pray that the camera don't fall because it's like propped up in the window. Uh, and I'm just gonna bring my bag over here. So I can show y'all how I packed for this trip since I was too exhausted to do it last night, baby. I was dead to the bed, okay? Well, not really dead to the bed. I was just dead. Like, I had been up working all day and um, I had procrastinated about packing my stuff. So, oh my God, I had procrastinated about packing. So I had to try to get everything done at the very last minute. And I am sure that, oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I am sure that I, you know, didn't pack the most glamorous things, but this is a business trip. And I, every time I pack extra stuff, I never use the stuff that's extra. So I'm just trying to like, simple anyway but this is like I said a bigger version of a carry-on let me just bring y'all over here so y'all can see so I basically have here two packing cubes this one has like all of my outfits in it and this one has like my intimates and pajamas and then on this side you I have like a different uh, extra jacket and I did not I did not pack my shoes up in no certain way so we're gonna pray that I stay healthy because my shoes are definitely not packed how they should be but there's not really anything over here that I'm wearing other than this jacket that the bottoms of these shoes has touched so while I just took everything out which I'm supposed to be unpacking so y'all can see how I packed. <laughs> uh, let me just tell y'all what that was. So basically, my head scarf, you know I don't have a lot of hair. Yes, I have edges, so I need to slay my edges this week. Um, and then this is just like a jacket in addition to the cardigan that I have on that I'm going to wear with my outfits. And then I have my <laughs> slippers because, and they are clean, they just been worn to hell and back. Uh, these are like, I have to have these when I'm at home, so why wouldn't I have them when I'm here? Um, teeny tiny bag, y'all know I like a small bag, so in addition to like my work bag, this will go with me every day. Sometimes I won't take it because, you know, whatever. Uh, makeup wipes, makeup, and toiletries. I put the toiletries in that Glamacolic Lifestyle book and I, I mean book bag and I will show y'all how I set the bathroom up uh, later. And then I bought these two pairs of shoes. I had those, um, I had those Stuart White tennis shoes because they're so comfortable in here at first, but I, fig I figured I would get more use out of these two because the Stuart Weissman, they are comfortable, but they are heels and I haven't worn them all day before. So I, I just decided to go safe and bring those. And then of course I have my favorite shoe, my favorite Yeezys on. Um, I have a concert to go to tomorrow. So I bought this clear bag so I can just put my wallet in. And then of course I have my packing cubes. So that is my version of packing light. Oh we have to talk about the uh, stuff that I need for work. So please hold. This is gonna be the fun part, y'all, cause I'm tired and I get to sit down. <laughs> so the stuff that I brought for work, I brought everything in this bag, which was a mistake because this bag is not 
This bag is not to be carried. Like, this bag doesn't even have a long strap. It's cute though. It's real cute. But next time, we're gonna go for comfort. <laughs> so in this bag, I have my two laptops because I am committed to this vlog life. You know, I'm a professional vlogger now. <laughs> so this is my personal laptop, my MacBook Air, and then this is my work lap laptop, MacBook Pro. Um, the reason why I said this bag, if I was only carrying around my, my personal computer, this bag would have been totally fine, but this work laptop is heavy. Um, and then in this bag, this is the bag that I got from the Roots Picnic. I just wrapped my camera in here because I don't have like an official camera bag and I can't find my lens cover and I didn't want my lens to get cr uh, cracked or scratched. So I just wrapped my camera up in this bag and that's how I will be uh, transporting my camera to and from home for right now. Um, Y'all, I have already started unpacking <laughs> this stuff. So I use, I put all of my cords and things in this sneaker money pouch that I got off of Kicks and Froze. Uh, so what's left in here now is like a little adapter for my, um, this thing that I plug my uh, memory card in to get the content off of my memory card for my camera. But, I use, but I'm now starting to use this again because this one is, I think, more safe than using this thing because I think this thing corrupted my memory card. So I probably need to throw that out. And then this is the charger for my personal computer. Uh, this is a bank, bank token for work, some random stuff for work. Uh, all of the extra cords, I think this is the cord to my camera. This is the cord to my laptop. Um, and then I had to bring my passport because I got to do some notarizing of my documents at work. And then this is my external hard drive. I love this thing. It's like, I think two or three terabytes. Uh, I have not gotten a notice that I've gone over yet. So I love, I adore this thing. I am going to have to go through here and clean it up because I have a lot of content on it because I've been saving my published videos there. Um, any of my YouTube friends out there, anybody creating content, what do y'all do with y'all videos after you publish them? Do you keep them? How do you archive them? Let me know. Um, and then what else do I have? Oh, uh, for work I brought a notebook, you know, just for notes. This is one I've been using for the last maybe like month or so. Um, also my favorite sunglasses i'm just gonna put them on i'm not gonna keep them on for the video but y'all these are my favorite sunglasses they remind me of those balenciaga sunglasses the ones that have the bees on the side i feel like my face deserves the cat eye aesthetic so i'm 100 percent gonna get those let me pause for a second because i'm going really fast due to the fact that i'm exhausted and when i'm tired I'm like energetic until I stop and then I'm like done. So I'm trying to hurry up so I can get in the shower so I can lay down. Anyway, I digress. Um, what else is in here? Oh, my cell phone charger. Never leave home without this thing. Uh, this is supposed to be, I almost left these. This is supposed to be in the makeup bag, the Acne Docs, uh, our skincare bag. Let me hurry up before this camera overheats. And then, I don't know why, but I feel like I need to bring this fan with me everywhere I go. Um, my wallet. Um, and then the rest of the cords that go to whatever are in here. Uh, my Apple Watch charger. Um, all of this stuff, mind you, was in that sneaker money pouch. I just came in here really quick because I needed to do something on my work computer and uh, just unpacked it all. Um, hand sanitizer, I love lavender, so this is my favorite hand sanitizer right now. My headphones stay in the carry-on bag because why not? This is my camera charger. Last time I brought my camera, I didn't bring the charger, so. I was SOL. 
with that. We'll call that the excuse why I didn't vlog. Uh, let's keep some hand cream. This one is, I want to say, Necessaire. And it is fragrance free. I'll link it down below. But if you have ashy hands, you need to have some hand cream. We're about to go uh, hot. So let me hurry up. Um, hand cream and then like a ton of pins. So my job has the best pins. I work at Snapchat. My job has the best pins. So I have like eight of them. And then I have, this is my best pen from Starbucks when I work there. I uh, just haven't gotten rid of it. Well, it, it still works. So of course, my work laptop charger, my gloss bomb, and what else? Oh. Portable charger for whatever you use, and then my uh, mouse for my, my Mac. So that's all that I have in my luggage and I'm gonna take a shower and take a nap and then I'll come back and tell y'all about my day today and show y'all what I bought at the uh, Wake Me Up When I'm Free show. Uh, it was a Tupac exhibit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these videos that I'm going to be filming and posting this week. And yeah, so let me just stop being delusional and go get my life together so I can take a nap. Toodles! Y'all just saw me unpack my bathroom toiletries or whatever, my makeup and my um, body and skincare. So I'm just going to take you through what I have here. And I know that I'm missing something, so I'm going to have to make a Target run. That's what's so good about this area that I'm staying in. They have a Target and they just opened a Trader Joe's. And since I'm going to be here for six days, I'm going to go get me some figment. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's before I hop in the shower. Anyway, I digress. So let me show y'all what I have here with me. So we'll start with the makeup. So my makeup brushes, I need to wash my beauty blender. And then I brought my foundation, which I'm probably just gonna do powder and concealer, but I bought my foundation. And then I showed y'all in one of my Target hauls that I had bought that uh, Rare Beauty Liquid. I don't wanna try any new makeup products so I'm just gonna stick with Old Faithful Raisin I believe yeah Raisin so on this side makeup brushes foundation powder blush this is almost gone so I might need to go get something to replace it when I finish it uh, this is almost gone too but I think I'll be okay for this trip um, 
Did I say powder already? This is, I hit pan on this, y'all. This is good. This is so good that I'm going to, I don't even care that I left my, um, my Laura Mercier to set my under eye concealer, but I bought my NARS because these two products together are chef's kiss. Um, my brow stuff. Um, and then this is almost, I'm almost out of this and then after after this there will be no more because y'all know Becca is no longer so I'm sad about that and then I brought this bronzer I didn't really say I'm sad about that but I am really sad about that <laughs> I brought this bronzer toasted uh, by Benefit Hula toasted um, I like it to set the Fenty matchstick the matchstick is espresso um, these makeup wipes. I love these. Um, and then I don't know why I got this pencil sharpener. Maybe I have a lip liner or something, but I don't know why I got that. And then that's what I have for makeup. I am, the only thing for makeup that I think that I need to, to go get from Target is some setting spray. Because regardless of if I use just powder, foundation and powder, I'm going to need setting spray. So over here on my body care and toiletries and skincare this is the only deodorant that i use um this tom ford fragrance that i showed y'all in my haul last week this was the tom ford oud wood and i bought the ebony wood because these two are like you need to layer these two these two layer together that's it that's all so i'm like i need to go get a full size ebony wood and i'm definitely going to get a full size of that um this is a holy grail product now i have this uh, butter drop in the full size but because i have to travel for work a lot i got it in the um travel size and then i have the regular super goop but i bought it's the big size, so I decided to just bring this one along. It has like a little shimmer, or not shimmer, but a little bit of a glow to it. And then my skincare is always lined up in the way that I use it. This goes in the shower. This is the rice wash. Um, and then, of course, after I get in the shower, I put it on the toner. And then I put my under eye cream. I know people put their serum on first, but I like my under eye cream to penetrate. So I put my under eye cream on. Then I put my serum, this is almost done. I put my oil <clears throat> and then I put my moisturizer. And yeah, that's all I basically bought. It's pretty light, I think. Some might say it's not, but yeah, I think it's light. I think it's light, yeah. So this is uh, how the bathroom will be the entire week that I'm here. I do this every time I check into a hotel and they just leave it alone. Guess what? I don't know where my toothbrush is. So I need to put that on my list too. Anyway, I'm getting ready to run out to Target. I said I was going to get in the shower, but it doesn't make sense for me to get in the shower and then go to Target. So I'm going to, what can I do? Instacart Target. I can, but that would be so lazy because I'm right here. Anyway, that is all that I have for right now. I am going to figure out what I'm going to do. If I'm going to go to Target or if I'm going to order and have somebody deliver it. So I will talk to y'all later. Hey y'all. So I just came back from Target. Clearly I haven't showered or anything yet because I'm still busy same clothes but y'all know me and Target go together real bad okay we go together real bad <laughs> so I'm gonna do a quick little Target haul I mean why not okay so let's just go through stuff that I bought and I bought stuff that would prevent me from eating overeating and just randomly eating out like on those nights when I have to when I had a long day at work and I don't necessarily want to go out for dinner. I can order in or I'll have like these snacks here in the room. So first things first, I bought, somebody can see me across the hall. Anyway, I don't care. I bought two bottles of water. So I don't usually drink smart water, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. So I bought two bottles of smart water. Definitely gonna be closing my blinds because this is kind of creepy. I bought a Coke, 
You need to stop him from coke, but it is what it is. Cheese. I also got some, uh, like these little fancy crackers to go with my cheese. And I got some salami. So I can make me a little basic bitch charcuterie board. <laughs> Then I bought some Gushers because, I mean, why not? We, we are not at home. And I bought some Rolos because why not? <laughs> um, additionally, I got m and I'm just telling y'all, I like to have these things at my bedside because sometimes work days get hectic and I just need a sweet treat before I go to bed. And I bought some sea salt caramel. Uh, some sea salt sea salt caramels. Uh, I think that's all the food. Oh no. I bought, this is my favorite popcorn. This is like comfort food to me. So I bought these. Then I bought a bowl. It was 50 cent and a cup. It was 50 cent. Um, so I don't care about throwing it away when I'm finished with it. Or maybe I'll just leave it at my desk in the office since I'll be here again. Um, I went for a toothbrush. I bought a shower shower glove. Um, I was gonna use the the, the bath uh, wash that they have in the thing because I forgot mine, but they have my favorite. Um, Cat Steel by Dr. Bronner's uh, in lavender. That's my favorite. Y'all know I love lavender. I don't know if y'all know that, but I bought some cotton nail wipes and some Advil, and then I, I'm trying gonna try these two alcoholic beverage drinks. They're called Blossom. They're low calorie wine spritzers. I'm assuming they're kind of like, what's that drink those kids drink? I forgot what it's called, but this one is Wild Berry. And then this one is the one that piqued my interest because I've never seen any that were mango and passion fruit. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer, I mean in the refrigerator so they can be chilling while I am in the shower. And y'all, these people across from me, I think it's an apartment building, but they can literally see me. Like their blinds are open and the guy was just like looking across and looking at me so literally you can see me so i'm done recording for the day if i record again it's you, your lighting is just gonna be sucky so i will see y'all later if not i will see y'all tomorrow i think i'm gonna post these videos every day so uh yeah, I think I'm going to post these videos every day so it's not like too long of a weekly vlog. So, this is the end of day one in Los Angeles. It's probably a lot of not talking and a lot of like uh, content or clips from the travel day. But that's just, that's, it is what it is, right? So, I will see you guys in the morning.